guys, uh, first and foremost, I wanted to apologize for having not uploaded videos in a while. I know, um, I've just been in a, uh, really a slump recently, and because of that, I kind of wanted to make a video, get back into the roots of, uh, when I started uploading and why I started uploading. And that all comes down to video games, really. Um, everybody has their reasons for video gaming, whether they be weird or not. I would, I would consider mine pretty weird, but I mean, uh, just hear me out. And I, I hope to enlighten you guys, really, if you, uh, if you care to listen for my rants. Um, let's see, let's start from the very beginning. Well, my family's kind of messed up. I mean, just just throwing that out there for those of you who who know them. Yeah, they're uh, they're pretty different from your average American family, I guess. Um, but when I was a child, I would have to say maybe one or two years old. I, I don't remember to be honest with you. Uh, my mother actually had just left our family. She never even said anything um, or mention anything about leaving uh, I mean one day she was home one day she was not from what I hear and uh, I was so young at the time that I I don't even remember her face and her her name really and so uh, a couple years ago actually when uh, I finally got in contact with her and just Growing up without a mother is it's, it's, it's different, really. Uh, you're you're always faced with a dad who who's always you know mentally pushing you, and it, it's not it's not very good. Um, I mean, if you're a very unstable person, or I wouldn't want to say unstable. That's a bad word to use, but just. This is somebody who always gets down on themselves pretty easily, uh, like I do, and I, I know I'm always, I'm always hard on myself. But it's just something that I, that, that I just do. And uh, also, growing up without your own mother, not knowing what she's like, and then having an abusive stepmother who's, I mean, it's, it was pretty bad. There, there was a whole police investigation and everything, but I, I don't want to go into that. But <laughs> I started um, playing video games because of that. Uh, in all honesty, it was because it was an escape for me. Uh, I could just come home, come from school, deal with the bullshit for a little bit, then close my door, lock it up, and just get lost in this virtual reality, really. And it, it was an escape for me. It was it was soothing, and I. In those downtimes that I wasn't actually playing video games, I, I, I didn't know how to cope. So I started making YouTube videos um, so I could watch them or just rewatch me playing those games that I played earlier. And that was why I first started making YouTube videos in the first place. It was so that I had some way to cope with all the stress that I had in my life and it, it really helped and as years went by I got over some of the issues uh, learned how to I guess ride through them and just now recently I've just haven't I've just been dealing with different issues that have been getting getting me down really really bad to the point that I uh, actually almost committed suicide on myself until one of my best buddies called me and talked to me about it so I wanted to make this video to um, I guess teach you guys sort of give you guys sort of like an understanding of where I'm coming from and then to remind myself uh, why I truly still make videos to this day even though really nobody watches them and it's a huge coping measure for me yet I, I just forgot how much it helped me and uh, you know just sort of I guess talking it out in this commentary it really helps and um, I wanted to 
I guess throw this out there and I really appreciate for anybody who's still listening this is sort of just me ranting getting my thoughts out really and uh, it's <coughs> better better making videos that nobody watches than uh, shuts them up but uh, really guys thank you for watching uh, and I hope you guys uh, have a great day peace